Hello and welcome. It's Sandy here. Thanks for joining me for my very first card making video. I want to show you how I made this five and a half inch square card using dies from the Elizabeth Craft Designs November 2017 release along with some other existing dies from their collection. So let's get started. I'm starting with the stitch stars. There are six dies in this set, all with that lovely stitch detail. For today's card, we are only going to use four of the stars because I thought it would be fun to add a button. This set has a heart, a regular button, this cute little flower, and a star button, which we're going to use today. Each button has two holes in the center so that thread or twine can be easily added for a decorative touch. I've die cut the stars and the button ahead of time from white 100 pound soft finish cardstock. These dies can be used in any machine that will accommodate a wafer thin die. I'm going to color all the pieces beginning with the largest star and the button with Distress Oxide ink, Twisted Citron. The other colors are Broken China, Wild Honey, and Wilted Violet. I like to rub the color on using a circular motion. Because this ink is part dye and part pigment, it stays wet a little longer. So in order to avoid fingerprints, I'd like to use a piece of release sheet to hold it in place while I'm working. I'm working on a non-stick craft mat, which makes cleanup much easier. For this card, I wanted each color to be distinctively its own, so I wiped the mat off between each color. I'm going to speed the video up now so you don't have to watch me color everything in real time. Whew, that's done. Next, I cut a square panel for the front of my card using Perfect Purple Soft Finish cardstock and the largest square in the Stitch Square die set. The top square panel for this card was cut from Moda scrap paper using the largest die from the dotted scallop squares. The card base is white soft finish cardstock measuring 11 inches by 5 and a half inches, scored and creased in the center with the top fold. Now let's put our card together. Begin by adding adhesive to the back of your square panel. The back of this panel is white, but it is purple on the right side. Lay the card base out flat on your work surface before adding your panels. This way it makes it easier to line up and you don't have that bump and fold to deal with. Next we're going to add our scalloped piece. After adding adhesive, simply line it up within the stitch marks of the purple panel. These dies are designed to layer perfectly one on top of the other, leaving the perfect edge all around. Now it's time for those colorful stars. Add adhesive to the back and begin stacking them with the largest one first, of course. Next comes that cute little button, but before I added it to the card, I ran some purple and white twine through both holes and tied it in a knot on the top. The twine was much longer than necessary, but it made it easier to tie. Then it was trimmed off. For attaching the button to the card, this time I used liquid glue, simply because of the bump made by the twine. This way I put a little dot of liquid, fast drying, clear glue that holds strong. I placed it on the card and then held it down for a few seconds to make sure that everything was going to stay in place. Now 
a little extra fussing with the twine and it's good to go. To finish this card off, I'm going to use this new sentiment stamp set. I love the font and size of these, and it has coordinating shadow dies. I die cut the shadow four times for the word celebrate from a scrap of white soft finish cardstock. Then stamp the word celebrate on the one die cut that was going to become the top. These are clear stamps so you can see through them to center them on your die cut. But if like me, it takes a couple times to get it the way you want it, no worries. Here's what you do. Stack the remaining die cuts with the boo-boos on the bottom. I used liquid glue for this. That way you have a little while to move them around and get them perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to add the final layer to the stack. You can see that it gives such nice dimension for the card. Here we are on our final step, which is gluing the sentiment onto the card. Again, I like liquid glue for this because it allows me some flexibility in placing it on the front of the card. Still working with your card flat on the work surface, place your sentiment. This is a great generic card that could be used with any greeting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this card and got inspired. Until next time, bye bye.